What is going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another episode of the Quebec City Combat oh, Franchise Mode for NHL 23. If you haven't already, scroll down, hit that like button, subscribe, but with this one, we are here. We have made it. We are in the Stanley Cup Finals. <laughs> and we are taking on Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisidel, and his Edmonton Oilers. So I think this one could end up being a pretty tough series. They didn't have the greatest season in the universe, but... I mean, it's Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl. So what we're going to do is simulate the first period of game one, jump in at the beginning of the second. So here we go. What do we got in the first? Oh, baby, we're up one nothing, and it's Brandon Duhame. They're out shooting a 17-7. to Holy crap a moly. All right, I'll see you guys on the ice to start the second. So what a fortuitous turn of events. We jump into game one, lockdown defense. Don't mind of a freaking do there, coach. What a fortuitous turn of events. We jump into game one, and we're up 1-0 at the beginning of the second. We are shorthanded. Jacob Slavin gets it over to Radek Ruchinski. Oh, easy peasy, lizard squeezy. Let's just, what just happened? <laughs> Let's just turn that thing and just just kill this penalty off. We got the puck. We're just going to kind of get rid of it. Oh, Ruchin, I probably should have just cleared that, but I didn't. And Connie McDavid brings it back into Evan Bouchard, gets it back to Yesapu Yarvi, the Bison King. Who is in, what, Carolina now? Boosh gets it to McDavid. Come on, come on. We got to kill off this penalty. Nuge is there, too. Here we go, Radek Ruchinski. Whipper down the ice, and it's on Jack Campbell. Here they come. It's Nuge. Rushing down. Gets it back to Boosh. Big block by my guy. Jacob Slavin and Vladdy Tarasenko straight out the box. Straight out the box. Gets around his man. He was trying to go for a backhander, but he bobbled it. He got knocked around a little bit. We need to get the rest of those number ones out there. Jacob Slavin back to Dreezy, back to McDavid, who puts in a softie on Ilya Sorokin. He's got 13 goals in the playoffs. Damn, this thing is all tied up at one. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you can't grow facial hair like that anyway. Come on now. Well, we'll see, because I have a feeling that the Edmonton Oilers are probably going to go pretty far in the playoffs this year. They're just playing too well, you know? <laughs> but here we are, back at center ice. Marty Natchez finally getting on the ice for Quebec City. And there's Brandon Montour. Gets it up to Natchez, over to Vladdy Tarasenko. Let's go, let's go. Now we get to turn back. Turn back. Get out in front. Out in front. Big shot. Nice save by Jack Campbell. And did that say Kerfoot? <laughs> All right, here we go. Get this one across. Vladdy Tarasenko passes to nobody. And Holloway gets knocked around behind his own net as Boosh picks that one up. Gets it to Dylan Holloway. Tosses it across to PLD, but he was behind the goal line before he was able to get that shot off. Pick it up, pick it up. Oh, here we go. Across the other side. Trevor Moore takes a shot, and that one misses. And then Brandon Montour misses picking that one back up in his own end. And who do they got out there? I don't know. Somebody who just got a crushed spine. Philip Hedl whipped that one up to Pierre-Luc Dubois, baby. Who's unable to hold that one. It ends up back in the corner. And that's Alec Martinez. PLD, PLD. Oh, baby, what a goal. <laughs> it's two to one for QBC, baby. That's his sixth of the flipping playoffs. And I just sounded like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. Oh, my. Five and a half minutes into this one. And it's all there's already been two goals, so... Oh, man. This could be another one just like that. Oh, look at that, though. Oh, it was delicious. This could be another one like that Tampa series where it's just high scoring all the way through. It's like we score, they score, we score, they score. I don't know. We will have to see. Evander Kane, EK, man. EK91 brings this one in. Oh, backhander. Nice save by Ilya Sorokin. Play that thing. Radek Ruchinski stuck in place, and Zach Hyman ends up getting it back, and we're forced to take a penalty. We weren't forced, but, like, we were forced. <laughs> Radek Ruchinski, one of our better defenders at this point, going to the box, but he does not really have any poise because I think he's still, like, 18 years old, something like that. Ilya Sorokin having himself a halfway decent playoffs. Now we just need to try and keep Edmonton off the board and dry side. Oh, God, it trickles right in. Oh, my. Just as quickly as I say, we got to try and keep Edmonton off the board. Right off the draw, gets it to Dreisaitl in his office, and he just wires it, and it trickles through Sorokin. Gosh darn it, we got a 2-2 game yet again. We're only seven and a half minutes into the second period of game one, and it's like so much has already happened. But Schnarzy-Warzy on the faceoff with a great win. Marty Faravari back to Jensen. 
Jensen's going to whip that one up to Brandon Duhame, having a surprisingly good playoffs goal scoring wise. Uh, I think he has one assist. <laughs> And here comes Jensen. Jensen back to Duhame. Duhame through traffic. That one gets blocked. Dry sidled. So we got our fourth line going up against their, like, number one line. Or potentially their number two line. I'm not 100% sure. But here comes Yessa. Gets that one over to Bush. Bush with a shot. Nice save by Sorokin. Kolasar with a diving pass up to Nate Schnarr. <laughs> we got to stop up. All right, McDavid. Oh, he's just, oh, look at it. He's untouchable. Absolutely untouchable. Gets it back to Schnarzi. Here we go. This is a good fourth line. Get around Evan Bouchard. And stop up. Cut into the middle a little bit. And take the shot. Oh, it was deflected on net, but that one did not go. Here comes Michael McLeod. Short-handed. Throws that one just high and wide on the near side. There you go. Knock your man off. And I think it was like Keegan Colasar or something. No, it wasn't. It was Barrett Hayton. All right, here comes Evander Kane. Coming down that left side. He's going to try and cut in. He's going to try and back it off to Barrett Hayden. Can he get a breakaway? Come on, Barrett Hayden. Short-handed breakaway. Pulls off the post, but it's a big save by Jack Campbell as Evan Bouchard brings that one back out. A minute gone in this penalty kill. We do need to get some wholesale line changes going. So, Marty, get him. Damn it. <laughs> That's not what I needed to happen. Here comes Nuge. He's having trouble holding on to that one. Getting in front of the net. Nick Jensen, nice play. All right, Nuge get knocked. Kolasar knocks his man off it, and it's gone. All right. Oh, my God. McDavid and Dreisaitl both just got smashed by, like, the same person. It was the same hit, and Dreisaitl's hurt. Holy crap, Amoli. What could this mean for us right now? Marty Nate just trying to find his way in. Tarasenko across to William Nylander. Huge save by Jack Campbell. And Zach Hyman came out of nowhere. I didn't even see him there. I think he was actually coming out in replacement of Leon Dreisaitl. Ty Smith up to Marty Natchez, but he can't hold on to it. We get it back. Ruchinski gets it back to Ty Smith. Back to Ruchinski. All right, where are we going with this thing? Just take it. There you go. Up to Marty Natchez. Marty Natchez has Evander Kane right on his right on his keister. Right in front of the net. Big shot. It's bouncing over soup. And it's good, baby. Marty Natchez puts home his fourth. And I think that was assisted by both defenders, which would be Ty Smith and Radic Ruchinski. Marty Natchez. What a pickup. What a damn pickup. What a great number one center. We got to go with that second line. Hits soup, bounces up in the air, lands right on his numbers, and just bounces backwards behind him. What an unfortunate series of events for Mr. Jack Campbell. <laughs> I will take it, man. I will take it. Slaving to Heedle. Back around to Trevor Moore. Trevor Moore tries to get it out in front of the net. It doesn't work. And Dylan Holloway is going to bring that one back for Edmonton. Don't you even dare. Don't you even think about do I can't knock him off this for some reason. Um, no. <laughs> oh, my God. So just as quickly as we took a 3-2 to two lead, the Edmonton Oilers tied it back up at 3. It took them all of 8 milliseconds. And Dylan Holloway puts in his eighth point of the playoffs. Look at that. Leon Dreisaitl pushing 30 points in the playoffs. It's absurd. <laughs> and realistic. <laughs> I wonder how many ankles he has this year. All right, here we go. Kerfoot coming down to Ruchinski. Brosev takes that one away. Gets it over to Barrett Hayton. Barrett Hayton into the zone. What a move, what a move, what a move. Get it across. Michael McLeod, what a chance. And a huge save by Jack Campbell. No goaltenders looking overly hot in this one. Merrill, John Merrill. Kicks that one away. Ty Smith brings it back. Get it across again. McLeod, bad angle shot, so that's got no hope of doing nothing. Brosef back to Ruchinski. Throw it on net. Oh, another nice deflection by Barrett Hayton. We keep this thing. Oh, here we go. Barrett Hayton. Across to Michael McLeod. How did that pass make it across? With six seconds to go in the second period, we take a 4-3 lead. This is the, uh, what, fourth lead change or whatever or third lead change in this game where we were up by one when we jumped in we're up by one now and we're going into the third period with a one goal lead just like we entered the second the thing is we got to lock down the defense we got to stop allowing Edmonton to just like walk in and tie this game back up what we need to also do is expand on this lead the best that we've had is a one goal lead and Benning takes that one away. Schnarzi gets it back, just get rid of it. And of course, as the period expires, his stick snaps, which makes my soul hurt. Look at McLeod, look at McLeod, just calling for it, boom. No 
problemo. So four to three after two. Shots are 25 to 19 in favor of Edmonton. They've gone one for four on the power play. We are 0 for one. My God, it's like real life. Brandon Duhame gets his sixth of the playoffs by Willie Nee and Brandon Montour before Pierre-Luc Dubois gets his sixth unassisted. Marty Natchez with his fourth by Radek Ruchinski and Ty Smith and Michael McLeod with his third by Barrett Hayton and my guy Radek Ruchinski. So now we need to expand on this in the third. So, put 20 minutes back on the clock as always as we attempt to hold off the Edmonton Oilers, expand on this lead, take a 1-0 lead in this series, the Stanley Cup Finals, just the place you want to be. If we could do it in year two, my God, we'd be in good shape. William Nylander, oh, he's getting knocked around, but you just can't knock him off it until you knock him off it, but it's okay. Marty Natchez is there. He gets it back. He's in the corner. Martinez getting knocked around by Willie Nee a little bit as well. As the Oilers are able to take it out of their own zone, the greatest puck protection of all time apparently is none. So there we go. Evander Kane takes a little bit of a hit from Jacob Slave and Marty Knight. Just what are you doing? It's yes of Pugliarvi. The guy's like two goals in 78 games all year. Ooh, nice block. Nice block by Vladdy. Boy, I know everyone's like, you got to make, make William Nylander the captain. And Tarasenko took that personally. All right, here we go. What have you done? Ja <laughs> Jacob Slave and shooting the puck at his own net. Whoop, William Nylander dodges his man. We're in. We're in like Flynn. We're on like Flan. And Willie Nee puts it home for his ninth goal of the playoffs. What a damn shot. I didn't even like, I didn't even have room to, to deke out Jack Campbell. He just forced his way in and just took a really good shot. And everybody knows William Nylander's got a hell of a shot. Look at this. I didn't even deke him. Didn't even deke him. Just sniped it. Oh, yeah. And then he's feeding it. He was like cup of farting Jack Campbell. It was fantastic. Bad. And Ruchinski is just not reaching. He's skating around the puck, but he's not actually going for it. Kerfoot in front of Benson. I don't know if that one made it to Sorokin. Throw it around. Filipito, we got to get this thing out of here. Back around behind the net. Ruchinski, get that one up to Trevor Moore. Oh, baby, we're gone. We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. Trevor Moore in front takes the shot with a little bit of a rebound, but it's no good. Can Trevor Moore get it back? No, but boom! <laughs> Dylan Holloway, lay down. All right, here we go. Cody Cece coming down for the Oilers. Doesn't get the shot out. Oh, my God. There was a rebound. Still no shot. And Slavin, everybody's just falling down. What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> that was a bad pass attempt by me. We got to get those third liners out there immediately. Ryan McLeod brings it down, but he's got Radek Ruchinski defending, Benning. Can't get the shot off. Ruchinski, round the net, round the net. Play it safe. Play it safe. Play it smart. Toss it back around. Play it smart. Play it as smart. Here we go, up to Michael McLeod, just get to center, dump the damn thing down. We got a two-goal lead, we're almost halfway through the third. Just play smart, that's all we have to do. Ty Smith up to Matthew Joseph, Joseph trying to get around Philip Broberg, he's having a little bit of trouble, we're going to stop up, toss that one back around the net, Michael McLeod, Michael McLeod, Michael McLeod, gets it in front of Joseph, what? <laughs> Broseph with a terrible shot and it goes in the net, we got a three-goal lead, holy crap. We got a three-goal lead in the first game. Oh my god. He just like, he got the pass in front of the net, kind of bobbled it for a second, and then just turned around, and like, he barely even looked. He just, look at the horrible physics. How is your spine intact? And he just kind of turns and fires it randomly at Soup, and he just, like, just lets it go through. <laughs> so Ty Smith, with his ninth point, starting to jump the team leaderboards in points. I can't believe we have a 6-3 to three lead on the Edmonton Oilers in Game 1. What is Mike Smith in the net? I love Mike Smith, but oh god, Game 1s are not his friend. Timothy Lilligren gets that one. Over to Ryan Nugent Hopkins, who tosses that one up to Evander Kane. Don't let them back in. Nice block by Jensen. He's, like I said, he's going to be one of those guys. He's going to be a tough one to let go. Toss it around the net. Shnarzy McGuarzy. It's that one. Oh my god, you're running into your own players. I'm pretty sure we just iced the goddamn puck. We didn't. Oh, wow. Okay. But I miss Lilligren. Oilers starting to cycle well, but it doesn't matter because Marty Natchez gets there and takes it away. William Nylander doing some ninja moves. We're just going to whip that one around the net. Broberg picks it up, brings it back. Ah, oh, gets stuck in the net. Damn it. And he's going to get that one up to Connie McDavid. McDavid does not like to lose. I got a defender down, and Monty is there for the big block. Pass that one away. We got to tire these guys out. Tire, tire out this top line. William Nylander splits the defense. Can he get in? No, he can't. No, he can't. Whip it around the net, Vladdy boy. Back to Willie Knee. Where are we going with this thing, man? All right, turn back. Turn back. 
Oh, we're doing ninja moves to the Optimus Prime right now. Nice save by Jack Campbell, but that was like a sneakily good shot. McLeod, McLeod's got Hayton with him. Get it across to the other side of the net. What a save by Jack Campbell. Here we go. Barrett Hayton, through, where was that going? What are you doing? <laughs> and oh, crikey. <laughs> Two minutes and 38 seconds to go in the game. We're going to the box again, and it's Michael McLeod, one of my best penalty killers. <laughs> and he's gone. Damn, man. All right, we're taking too many penalties. I think we've taken, like, six penalties in this game now or something. We're going to see. Schnarzy Warzy, he's on the faceoff. Two and a half minutes to go. This is our fifth penalty of the game. I think the Oilers have taken one. So here's Martinez getting her back to Timothy Lilligren. Back to Alec Martinez. Slaps it to nowhere. Zach Hyman picks that one up. All right. All right. No, 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 I don't think so. All right. Here we go. Keegan Colasar just whip her down the ice. Kill off this clock. I know for a fact we're taking game one. <laughs> like, I know this for a fact. It's a sure thing. Like betting on a horse. Here we go. Jensen trying to back off his man. Tries to get it in front with a funky little backhander that doesn't end up working. Colin Blackwell gets it back around behind the net. Hyman. Oh, and that one took a crazy hop off one of his own teammates and ended up all the way back down the ice. So in the final minute of the... Oh, my God, are they ever having trouble getting into our zone. And then it's like as soon as they get possession back, they start fumbling it again. It's like, oh, man. Now we're going for wholesale line changes. Ryan McLeod is just flying down the ice. Thinks he's solo. Big kick saved by Ilya Sorokin. As Philip Hedl picks that one back up, throws it around his own net. And, oh, we're out of the box. Michael McLeod, but he can't do anything with it. Get it back to Barrett Hayton. Hold on to this thing. Turn back. And we're in. <laughs> that one around the net. Philip Heedle picks it up. Back around behind to Barrett Hayton. Somebody get on the other side of the net. Nobody's going to do that, so we'll go back to the point. Slavin, uh-oh, loses that one to Ryan McLeod. But Radek Ruchinski backs off just in time to take away any kind of pass attempt or whatever. Trying to get that one out in front. It's Connor McDavid. This is, the, this is it. There's 10 seconds left. Nuge with a big shot. Nice stop. McDavid with a backhander, and I think that one actually might have missed the net. McLeod, we got Slavin in front. Come on! <laughs> There's four seconds left. It's a three-goal damn game. Just let us win it. Ugh. It's like they put on this impossible pressure. <laughs> All right, good for you, Ryan McLeod. I do like Ryan McLeod. I can't say nothing bad about him. He's got eight points in the playoffs. Jeez, I'm crow. But there's only 4.2 left here in game one. I know we're going to take it, but I was kind of saying, like, play for Ilya. Play for Sorokin. You know? He, oh, what happened? <laughs> All righty, so there we go. The clock expires. Game one is in the books, and we have a 1-0 lead in the Stanley Cup goddamn finals. Now that is a position you want to be in. <laughs> Final shots in this game is, holy crap, it's 39-26 to 26 for Edmonton. They went 1-5 for five. again. We went 0-1. for one. Look at that hit. McDavid and Dreisaitl both just dropped. <laughs> so William Nylander got his ninth by Jacob Slavin and Ilya Sorokin before Matthew Joseph got his fourth by Michael McLeod and Ty Smith. So let's sim game two, and then we'll jump into game three and see what happens. All right, so we're back at the main menu after taking down the Oilers in game one. We'll see what happens here in the AHL playoffs. Rounder complete, and they made it to the finals. Wow, the Montreal Aces. Could we sweep the, like, the Cups? <laughs> All right, here we are. Game two. It is two to one after one, baby. QBC up on top, and we're dramatically outshooting them. After two, four to two. Barrett Hayton, Keegan Colasar. Shots are 31 to 12. And after three, it remains... Four to two. They absolutely dominated us in the third period, but Ilya Sorokin stood tall, did not even allow a damn goal. Vladdy Boy with his 11th by Natchez and Nylander. Ty Smith with his fourth by Tarasenko and Nylander. And then in the second, Kolasar with his second by Willie Nee and Brandon Duhame. And Barrett Hayton with his seventh by McLeod and Slavin. Holy crap, did William Nylander ever have himself a goddamn game? No goals in the third. We hold him off. We got a 2 nothing lead in the Stanley Cup Finals. Oh my could we make it three? Could we make it three, my friends? Here we go. Game three. But we are at their barn. Rogers Place in Edmonton, Alberta. We're going to go to the third period and dive in from there. And it's two nothing for, for Quebec. Holy crap. <laughs> After two, it's three nothing. Oh, my God. I think we're going to take a three nothing lead in this series. <laughs> 
What an unbelievable, unprecedented turn of events where QBC is looking like they are going to take a 3 nothing stranglehold, just deadly freaking lead <laughs> here in the Stanley Cup Finals. Monty, get that one over to Slavin. We got one period to just hold them off. Just don't let them in. Martinez, what are you doing? Maybe it's time to retire. I think I think senility is catching up to you. And Yamamoto takes a bit of a hit, but we got a defender out of position now. Nice play by Vladdy Boy to take his man, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, off the puck, whip it back around to Tarasenko. And now pass it up to f uh, future captain William Nylander. Who's just trying to like hold up, hold up, get that one across to Slavin, who uh, thinks he's a forward now. Natchez, well, <laughs> the pass didn't work, doesn't matter. All right, Monty gets that one to Tarasenko. Tarasenko trying to get something done in front of the net. Oh, what a screen in front, and somehow Jack Campbell finds that one and stops the play with a glove. Uh-oh, Evander Kane steals that one away from Brandon Montour right off the faceoff. Don't you dare do it. Ilya Sorokin with a save. Pass that one out. That was the riskiest play I've done since the last time I did something stupid like that. Vladdy Tarasenko up to William Nylander. Nylander just looking for somewhere to go. Oh, man. Gets himself right out in front. Yeah, I didn't really think that was going to work. But whatever. It's worth a shot. We're up by three. We're in the third. <laughs> Why not? All right. Gets that one to Kerfoot. Kerfoot coming in. Monty's got, he's trying to stay on him. Evander Kane can't hold on to that one. Gets around behind the net. And Wisa going to clear. Trevor Moore gets it across to PLD. Oh, my God. How did I dodge that guy? He still got it. That one gets in front to Trevor Moore with a shot. Pierre-Luc Dubois almost gets the rebound shot, too. So that would have been fantabliocious. As Yessa Pugliarvi brings that one in for Edmonton and loses it immediately to Philip Heedel. Somehow that got through everybody. Trevor Moore again cutting in front of the net. Big shot just wide of Jack Campbell. And we keep it in. Oh my god, this pressure is rodonkulous. Stopping up. Get it across to Heedle. Back pass. Oh, PLD wasn't there. Damn. The Edmonton Oilers desperate to get anything going right now. Cody CC loses that one, and here we go, Brosif. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Now he's stopping up. Gets it to Michael McLeod. Can Michael McLeod get around his man with a backhander? And it's right on the goal line as Jack Campbell somehow keeps that one out of the net. You can see him. Look at him huffing and puffing. He's like, what do I got to do? Dude, my team sucks. <laughs> they really don't, but you know what I mean. <laughs> that was mean. All right, here we go. Marty Faravari, ooh, going to have trouble holding the zone, and Ryan Nugent Hopkins is going to take that one out. Kyler Yamamoto can't hold on to it as Nick Jensen turns that one back around. Keegan Colasar. Oh, man, this fourth liner is just a one-man army right now. Ugh, and it's just not fair. Marty, back to Jensen. Ten minutes to go in this game. Keegan Colasar is going to get her to Duhame, who again, like I said before, is having a shockingly good playoffs. Nice little slapper on Jack Campbell. He's going to hold that one. Not the greatest move, but we held the line momentarily. Oh, look at Duhame. Oh, Duhame's on the warpath right now. we got to get those number ones out there. All right, let's go for a quick line change for everybody. Get the number ones out. Now let's kill off the final ten minutes of this game. McDavid to Nuge. Nuge. Oh, my God. He got his own rebound. It went right through the goal line. And there's Connor McDavid. Oh, Monty gets down to block that one. I don't know if that one actually made it to the net or not, but McDavid is all alone in front. What a defensive play to take it off his stick. And there comes Vladdy Boy Tarasenko flying down the right side. Oop, we're going to dodge our guy. Now, Vladdy Boy right around the net, right around the net. Oh, God, if anybody would get open. Oh, here we go. Nietzsche's. What? <laughs> what a pass! What a goal! It's 4 nothing for Quebec City late in the third period. That's his fifth of the playoffs. Oh my god, look at this. Vladdy Boy just takes it all the way across the goddamn world. And Soup had no hope on that one. What a goal. That was beautiful. <laughs> That'd be fit. No, he can't even win the faceoff. Tarasenko almost takes that one away, but it's no good. Yes, Pujarvi flying down on Jacob Slavin. Holy crap, Amoli, we are about, I swear to God, we are about to have a 3 0 lead in the Stanley Cup Finals. <laughs> oh, man. The only problem with that is then I have to play every single game. Oh. <laughs> and I just feel like they're going to make this miraculous comeback. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, poke that one away. All we got to do at this point is kill the clock off. Hem them in their own zone. Yep, there you go. Hem them in their own zone. William Nylander takes that one away. Monty back to Willie Knee. Willie Knee into the zone. Willie Knee into the zone. Get it across. But no, there wasn't enough sauce on that one, man. 
Oh, huh, dude, four and a half minutes to go. This is it. This has been. Oh wow, what a hit! <laughs> Backhand feed to William Nylander. If I'm being 100% honest, it's actually kind of been an underwhelming Stanley Cup Finals. It's like there's been no pushback. Like, you know what I mean? In game one. Game one was exciting. It was like I didn't know what was going to happen. Every time we scored, they would just immediately tie the game. So it was like, oh, man, is it going to be one of these series? But now, it was like after, game, after we took game one, it, it was like there, it's no contest. Like, we're just dominating the Edmonton Oilers, like, start to finish every game here. All right, Dubois back to Smith. Oop, back to Dubois, but he loses that one to Zach Hyman. Two and a half to go. Two and a half to go. Takes the shot. Easy save by Ilya Sorokin. Man, are they just ever having, like, a hell of a time trying to get out of their own zone right here. Down to basically what is the final minute of game three. And, oh, Trevor Moore takes a bit of a hit as he is trying to handle a bobbling puck. And, again, just knock it into their zone. They've got nothing going on. Look at them. They're like children. <laughs> Colin Blackwell brings it home. Oh, and Radek Ruchinski with an easy takeaway. And they just took a penalty. Wow. So we are going to the power play with 45 seconds to go. Colin Blackwell. Pure frustration. Just an absolute anger penalty. I don't know that we're going to get a point on this, and I don't really care. We have a 4 nothing lead, so... <laughs> oh, man. What an, what an unreal Stanley Cup Finals. This would be our fifth power play of the game. And now Zach Hyman's bringing it out, shot-handed. I said to poke check, you just didn't listen. Holloway. Oh, God, no, please don't. There we go, Jacob Slavin. <laughs> I don't want to be allowing shorthanded goals against here. All right, Filipino. What do we think? Mm, turn back, get it back to the point. Jacob Slavin, we got a guy in front of the net. Nice double deflection right there by Pierre-Luc Dubois and Matthew Joseph and Jack Campbell does find it, having himself a very not good Stanley Cup Finals. Oh, God, look at our power play. We're terrible. Nice face-off win there by Marty Natchez. We are now down into the final 15 seconds of the game. Back in front to Tarasenko with a shot. Another deflection. And that one might have hit the goalpost. Get it across. Wide open. Hit the goalpost. Oh, Trevor Moore. Yeah, they don't want us to score anymore in this one. And it's like we're getting our best chances of the game right now. <laughs> with like two seconds left. And just like that, my friends, we just took a 3-0 series lead in the Stanley Cup Finals. Holy crap, a flippin' moly. Let's take a look at these freaking stats. And we're jumping into every damn game from here on out. Final shots are 36-19 by QBC. They did not get a power play. We went one for five. The last one, very abbreviated. So, what do we got? Brandon Montour got his third by Marty Natchez and Vlad Tarasenko before Trevor Moore got his sixth by Barrett Hayton and Michael McLeod. Vlad Tarasenko then gets his 12th by Trevor Moore and Marty Natchez, and Marty Natchez gets his fifth by Vlad Tarasenko. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go and get into game four, where we could sweep. So here we are back at the main menu with a three to nothing series lead on the flipping Edmonton Oilers. We are looking to win ourselves a Stanley Cup right here in four games. That would be two series in a row where we swept. Oh, no, my God, it's two to nothing after one. <laughs> after two, three to one. Holy crap, we're 20 minutes away. Can we hold them off? Can we win it all right here, right now? This is absolutely unflippin' believable. Jumping into the third period lockdown defense, we better. <laughs> Here at Rogers Place in Edmonton, Alberta, we are 20 short minutes away from hoisting Lord Stanley's Cup for the first time in franchise history. Oh, what are we doing now? There comes Evan Bouchard over to Connor McDavid. Holy flippin' wheels, gets it in front of Nuge! And Sorokin is there to grab it. we got to get this thing out of our own zone, though. Holy, William Nylander gets it to Vladdy Tarasenko. Put on the Jets. But he can't hold on to it. Watch the stick. D-Mac, you dummy. Alec Martinez. Going to try and get that one all the way down. He does. Gets it to Nugent Hopkins. Now they're flying in. they got a lot of pressure on us right now. Sorokin played again. Hit it to Jacob Slavin. He's going to have to back it off to Monty. Monty gets her up to William Nylander. Oh, Nylander's looking for somewhere to go. And McDavid's just too damn fast. Holy crap. Kyler Yamamoto, that one went off a body and never made it to Ilya Sorokin. Holy crap, are they ever putting the pressure on us right now? Oosh. All right, we were able to hold on to that one. William Nylander 
Oh, that was bad. That was bad. I did not see Evander Kane coming off the bench. Sorokin's got it again, but this time, you know what? We'd better hold it. Boosh, is he going to go for the Boosh bomb? No, it's not going to make it through. Jacob Slavin going into the corner, takes down Kerfoot, takes the puck with him, and whips it back around the boards to Brandon Montour. Let's go. Trevor Moore, baby. Quote the Raven. Get around your man. Oof. And he actually kind of held on to it. <gasps> and he's, he's, he's dodging everybody. Philip Heedle kind of held on to that one as well in front of the net. Back to Slavin. Back to Monty. Don't turn around the wrong way. I can't believe that shot actually hit the net. All right. Here's what we do. Whoops. Go for a defensive line change while well, we got that puck deep in their zone. Smith and Ruchinski get out just in time. Nice stop by Sorokin. I played it. Maybe shouldn't have played it that time, but it's like, you know what? We're up by two in the third. I want to get this damn game over as quickly as possible and just hold them off. Cody CC back around behind the boards. Gets it to Zach Hyman, who's trying to leave his own zone. See, this one's intense. I don't feel like we're going to be cutting too much out of this one. This video's uh, gone very fast so far, and Ilya Sorokin had to be sharp to make a good save on that one. Zach Hyman loses that one to Radic Ruchinski, the rookie. Loses it again, and all the way in front of the net. Oh, Smitty got tied up on the net. Oh my goodness, that one went off the goalpost. Holy, these like the, every shot they take is like too close for flip and comfort, man. Ty Smith able to hang on to that one, and he throws it deep in the zone. Barrett Ayton stuck on nothing for some reason. Whip that one across. <gasps> Michael McLeod picks it up. Barrett Hayton, nah, that was never gonna work. Ty Smith just throw it at the net, right in front. Hayton with a backhander, big save by I'm assuming still Jack Campbell. <laughs> we gotta get those third defensive guys out onto the ice. Everybody's dead to the world. Let's do it now, and we'll throw the fourth line out at the same time. Ruchinski just playing around with it, killing some clock. Gets it up to Brandon Duhame, who's gonna dump her deep. Here you go. You know what? Just pass it up to Duhame. Duhame. Just get her to center and dump her deep. You know what? We're going to go back to the number ones already. It's fine. It's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> Colin Blackwell gets it to Benning. Benning trying to bring it in for the Oilers. Come on. Take it off him. Oh, my God. He got his own rebound. But Ilya Sorokin picked that one up. And then Monty had a heck of a time trying to turn around. Marty Natchez, is he going to be able to get around his defender? Nope. But we could just go this way. Marty Natchez in front of the net. Snips it top shelf. What a goal. Holy crap. I'm holy. I can't believe this. We got a 4-1 to one lead over halfway through the third period. Holy, I'm going to go back. You know what? I'm going back to the fourth line. We got a 4-1 to one lead. I am going to rest up that top nine, and we are going to use the top nine to get all the way to the end of this one. And I'm telling you, folks, we are hoisting that cup in four. Now he's just looking for somewhere to go. Whip it back around behind the net. And Marty Faravari. Ah, man. By the time, like, he actually got the puck pickup, it was no good. Keegan Colasar, yeah, you know he's not going to be able to hang on to that. Man, the guy's got no hands at all. Now, the fourth line up against the McDavid line. He gets it to Yams. Yams kind of loses it and gets it back and loses it and gets it back. Now, schnar has got it. And all we're trying to do here is find, find an exit to... Ooh, that's not good. Yamamoto keeps it in front of Nuge. Nuge, uh, that one doesn't make it all the way in, but it takes a fortuitous bounce. For the Edmonton Oilers, who are not going to say die just yet. Damn it. Kyler Yamamoto puts in just his second goal of the playoffs. But I have seen the way Kyler Yamamoto simulates and stuff in these games. And every year he ends with like 8 goals, 83 assists. It's like absolutely ridiculous. Like he only has 2 goals. He probably has like 20 assists in the playoffs. It's craziness. Pugliarvi's coming in now. Holy. Okay, they're putting on way too much pressure. And we're, like, allowing it. Nice play by Monty to take that one away. We're just going to back off. Get it over to Slavin. Slavin. Toss that one up to William Nylander. Captain William Nylander. Cuts in front of the net. Worked the first time. Ooh, beat Soupy. But could not beat our own absolutely terrible aim on that one, eh? That's the thing about William Nylander. He has an underrated shot, right? Pujarvi, the Bison King. we got to take that one off of Marty Natchez up to Vladdy. Vlad turns back. Okay, smart play. Slavin up to Willie Knee. Willie Knee into the zone. He's going to take a bump from I don't know who number 23 is. It's Alec Martinez. I should have known that. I've said his name 140 times in this video so far. There's five minutes to go, by the way. <laughs> back to the point. Martinez gets it to Boosh in front of Benson, who holds it. Martinez. Oh, bad feed, buddy. Bad feed. Philippetal, just get that short pass up, toss her down the ice. I know he just took a bit of a hit. That's going to bounce right out in front. Philippetal takes it away. He's in front of the net, gets it across. Pierre Luc Dubois makes it five, baby. <laughs> oh my God, with his seventh of the playoffs, when Jack Campbell 
stuck his glove out and smacked that puck out of the air. He threw it kind of back at the back of his own teammate, and it was bouncing in the air. We had Philip Heedle who just threw a little check, threw a little check on the guy, picked the puck up, and PLD just like dives over on that right side perfectly and tosses it home. Holy crap. We're murdering him. Oh, baby. I don't even know. Like, if there's a whistle, I know they show the cup, but it's like, can we just do this without getting a whistle? Like, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> All right, here we go. Colin Blackwell gets it across to Ryan McLeod. Radek Ruchinski in front of the net. But that one does not make it. So we got Barrett Hayton hanging out behind. What are we doing? Let's get her up to Brosif. Brosif. Oh, I tried to get it past the defender. It ended up just going right off him, and Colin Blackwell is dumping the puck in. Oh, my. You know what? Let's just hang on to it behind our own net. Yeah, let's play with it. Come on, Ryan McLeod. <laughs> and there's Michael McLeod. It's the bottle of the McLeods. And Cody CC going to try and get it back out. They're just like, they got like one more good rush in them here in this game. Cody CC coming in deep for a defender. Backs off a little bit to the point. PLD with a dive in front of him. Couldn't even get the shot off. That was, I didn't mean to do that. That was a very dumb thing to do. Uh-oh, he's chased all the way back into his own zone. Here comes Zach Hyman. Zach Hyman's going to dump it deep again. Oh my. We got it behind our own net. Play with it. Play with it. Turn back. Oh yes. Ty Smith is running out the clock, baby. Gets her to Philip Heedle. Dump her deep. And this series is over. <laughs> the Quebec City Combatants have won the Stanley Cup in just their second year in the National Hockey League. Holy crap, um, moly, I even got an achievement. <laughs> Cup chance, win the Stanley Cup as the 33rd team in franchise mode. Oh my goodness, this is wild wildness. Look at Braden Holt be trying to get into the hug. Didn't play. He played 18 minutes in the entire playoffs, but he was perfect. In those 18 minutes, we got the, uh, the oh yeah, William Nylander with the con Smythe. He didn't have two goals, two assists, and four points. He was not like a minus 11 or whatever, minus 7 or whatever the hell that thing said, but a well-deserved con Smythe trophy. I, you know, after the Tampa series was done and we moved on to Florida, I was like, man, I think Ilya Sorokin could take it. He shut them down. But not only that, like every game was so close. Everything was like so low scoring. And now we got Vlad Tarasenko walking up to accept his second career Stanley Cup. The only, the only thing is if we win it back to back, we get it again next year. It ain't going to be Vladdy Tarasenko that's hoisting it. This looks different than last year. <laughs> this looks a little different. Yep, yeah, take your lap, Vladdy. Who should hoist the cup? I forgot they added this. Uh, who should we give it to? I think you got to give it to Willie Nee, right? Yeah. Okay, so they give you what? Like three or four options? I think it said three options remaining. All right. Oh, yeah. That's great. They actually changed the Stanley Cup celebration to what it was in, you know, 20 years ago. <laughs> in the, I think 2K did it though, right? Oh, man. There you go, Willie Nee. Now who gets it? Should we do Jacob Slavin? Or like Marty Natchez? Braden Holt. It's got to be Holt Beast. It's got to be Holt Beast. He's leaving the team after this season. Oh, my God. I think he's like 35 or something. 35, 36 years old. Something like that. I don't know. But you got to give it to Holt Beast because for this team, for Quebec City, he will not be returning next year. I would really, really like it if Olivier Rodrigue now maybe we give it to Jacob Slavin. <laughs> but uh, I'm really hoping that Olivier Rodrigue grows up to like at least like 79 or something and gets good enough that he could at least be a backup goaltender. And I don't know, maybe give him like, you know, instead of... Because Brayden Holtby only got, I think, I think he only had like 24, 25 starts the whole year. Maybe give him more like, you know, 30, 32 starts, something like that. Hopefully he plays well. The defense core gets better. You know what I mean? Like, because because Radek Ruchinski is definitely going to be growing like crazy next year. Look at Schnarzy. What a clown right in the front. Hey, eh? got to love this guy. Oh, yeah. I actually really enjoy what they did with that. I can't believe it. We swept the Oilers and we took the cup. Oh, craziness. Yeah, that's like all I've been doing this whole 
this whole run is just making videos. So it's like I haven't really had a lot of time to actually play the game for myself. I have my own franchise mode, but I haven't gotten like far enough to be a cup winner yet. <laughs> so this is all new to me. Quebec City Combatant 2023 2024 Stanley Cup Champions. And Kyle Capo Bianco gets his name on it. Oh my, that's great. I mean, Alex Nylander gets his name on the Stanley Cup as well. There you go. Alex Nylander, Stanley Cup champion. Final shots, 31 to 24 in favor of QBC. We went one for one on the power play. They went 0 for one on the power play. So, Sorokin, still a quality start, 22 of 24. Trevor Moore with his seventh of the playoffs by Montour and Philip Hedl. Michael McLeod with his fourth by Barrett Hayton and Matthew Joseph. Jacob Slavin gets his third by Vladdy Tarasenko and William Nylander. In the third, Marty Natchez with his sixth by Montour and Ilya Sorokin, baby. And Pierre-Luc Dubois gets goal number seven, the dagger in the heart by Philip Hedl. I'll see you at the menu. So now that that is all flipping done... I think I want to go through and see how uh, see how the boys do here. We're down two nothing in the Calder Cup. Oh my God, seven to one. We're down three nothing. Valtteri Pustinen has been injured. Oh my goodness, they held on. All right, three to one. Oh my God, now Gratchev has been injured. No, <laughs> Olivia Olivia Rodrigue is available to play in the team's next game, but it's like, oh my God, we're holding on. It's three to two. What do we got? Oh, we pushed to game seven. <laughs> Oh my god, that's amazing. I'm just best linesing it. Olivier Rodrigue is going to be the starter. He's going to be the starter. What happened? You got to tell me what happened here. The Calder Cup champs are the Montreal Aces. We swept the championships in year two. That is on Croyable, as they say in Quebec. They don't. They know how to speak French. But William Nylander, 25 points in 20 games. What an unbelievable run. Take a look at some player stats. Willie Nee, 9 goals, 16 assists, plus 21! Marty Natchez was right behind him. 6 goals, 18 assists, 24 points. Vlad Tarasenko, 12 goals, 23 points. Trevor Moore, great run in the playoffs. Slavin was a beast. Brandon Montour was kind of a monster in the playoffs. Barrett Hayton really did well. Michael McLeod on that third line, great. Ty Smith, good. Dubois picked up the scoring at least. Philip Hedl, I expected more. Look at Duhame. Joseph, Keegan Colas, Radic Ruchinski. Ah, he didn't grow anymore through the playoffs. I was hoping by the end he'd be up to like 83 or something, but he wasn't. We'll go to the Tendi Wendy's. We're in 20 games. Ilya Sorokin goes 16, 3 and 1 with two shutouts, a 9 15, and a 2.55 goals against average. It was round one and round four that really hurt his save percentage, or I think he'd be at like a 9 25. We'll go to all skaters. Let's look at the entire league. I know we didn't win. Leon Dreisidel and Connor McDavid were number one and number two, and Dreezy. Actually missed three games because we injured him. And maybe that's a big reason why they were so much easier to take out. But then, I mean, you got Nylander, Natchez, and Tarasenko are the next guys up. Three, four, five, man. That whole top line was absolutely fantabliocious. This has been a lot of freaking fun, man. <sighs> okay, we got to end this video. It's actually not going to be a very long one, though. Anyway, this has been a slice. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. There's new videos coming all the frickin' time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.